Number 60, a mixture of 0.200 grams of H2, which is hydrogen, 1.00 gram of N2, which is nitrogen, right, and 0.820 grams of AR, which is argon, is stored in a closed container at STP. Find the volume of the container, assuming that the gases exhibit ideal behavior. Okie dokie. So, looks like they gave us a couple of masses. They told us STP. So, we're in the gas chapter. So, the easiest way is to just list out everything you got and then pick a formula. So, here, they gave me a mass. So, I'll say we have an M of 0.200 grams of H2, so hydrogen gas. We have another mass, right, because it's in grams. So maybe I'll put it down here a little bit. We have another mass of 1.00 grams of N2. And then we have another mass of 0.820 grams of argon. And they told us that we're at STP. Now remember, STP is secret for knowing more information. STP stands for Standard Temperature and Pressure. If you have a gas mixture that is at STP, it is at 273 Kelvin, that's the standard temp, and 1 atm, that's the standard uh, pressure. So I know that I have a temperature of 273 Kelvin, and I have a pressure of 1 atm, and they're asking for what is the volume of the container. So maybe I'll just pull these up a little bit because we want to find out what that volume is. V equals question mark. So I just go through all of my units that I have. I don't have any sets. I don't have two temperatures or two pressures or two volumes. So the combined gas law is out. So now I'm down to the ideal gas law or that variation with density and molar mass. But the question's not asking for a density nor a molar mass. They're just asking for a volume. So the ideal gas law is the best way to go. And that's this formula. You know this one, right? PV equals NRT. Maybe I'll put this over here. Now remember, all the units are locked into the R value. R is 0 0.0821. It's a constant number. It's the gas constant value. Some professors or teachers might want you to memorize it as 06, but the 6 rounds the 0 up to a 1 in my case, right? So less numbers, the better. And this is ATM times liter divided by moles times Kelvin. So let's see. The pressure then has to be an ATM. And it is, right? They gave it to us an ATM. STP, the pressure is always at one ATM. The volume is what we're solving for. And just know that when we're, you know, going to bring it out of this formula, it has to be in liters. N is the number of moles. But mm, I don't see any mole values here. So maybe I'll just skip that for now. And the R value we have and the temperature, capital T, has to be in Kelvin. And thank goodness at STP, it's just best to memorize 273 Kelvin. So now how am I going to get the moles? Because we want to solve for the volume. Oh, that's why they gave us all these masses. Because from here, I could find the moles of each individual one. And then, since it's all a mixture... I could plug in the total number of moles. And that will tell me the total volume, right? They wanted to find the volume of the whole container. But just as a side note, guys, let's just pretend they wanted the volume of, you know, N2. You would then only put N2's moles in here. But since they wanted to find the volume of the whole thing, I got to find all the total moles. Well, we know how to go from grams to moles, right? That was way back in, in the chem days. Times about the ratio. Grams of H2 on the bottom. Moles of H2 up top. We're using the periodic table. Remember, one mole on the periodic table is whatever it equals on the periodic table in the mass, right? So we got 1.008. That's just being specific. You could just shoot it as two. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to get the, the most accurate numbers I can. 2.016 grams. Grams cancel out with grams. And now you're left with the moles of H2. So 0.2 divided by that number. 
And at this point, try not to round because this is not the final answer. So you want more sig figs than you need. So 0 .00, uh, 0.00992, let's say. And that's moles of H, two. Let's maybe pull this over a little bit. Okay. And now let's work on N2. So same exact thing, times by the ratio. Throw the unit you don't want on the bottom, so that's grams of N2. Moles of N2 is going to be on the top. Using the periodic table, one mole equals whatever the mass is of N2, and that's 28.02. Cancel out the grams of N2, and now 1 divided by 28.02 is, I'm just going to extend it a couple of more, Digits, 0 0.03569, and that's moles of N2. Got to do it one more time. Times by the ratio, grams of AR on the bottom, mole of AR up top. One mole equals whatever the mass of argon is. This one I actually have to look at the periodic table. Haven't memorized this one yet. 39.95. Uh, 39.95. Thirty-nine point nine five. Cancel out the grams of argon. And now let's see. Point eight two divided by thirty-nine point nine five. Zero point zero two zero five. Um. We'll say three. And that's moles of argon. Okay. So we have the each individual component, but now I have to find out the total moles. So I'm just going to add these together. So if I just add these total together, so maybe I'll just pull this a little bit back and I'll say I'm gonna add all of these up. Let's see what we get. So 0 0.09921 plus 0 0.03569 plus 0 0.02053. I get 0 0.15543, and that's going to be equal to the total moles. And that's our n value. Boop. So we have now everything we need to solve. So let's go from left to right, just plug it in. So P was 1 ATM, so 1 times the volume. That's what we're solving for, so I'll just label it as x equals the n value, which is now the total number of moles. Maybe I'll just highlight this. So I have 0 0.15543 times the r value, 0 0.0821 times the temperature value, which is 273. Anything divided by 1 cancels out. So basically, we could just forget about it, right? And maybe I'll just pull this over here. And now we have x equals, now we're going to round. So 0 0.115543 times 0 0.0821 times 273. And looks like three sig figs were given in the problem. So three sig figs back, 3.48, and that is in liters. And that is the total volume of the whole container because you took the total moles. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you guys are learning here. Let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys. All right, you guys have been so kind throughout this whole journey, so I really do appreciate you all. This has been so much fun, and let's keep going. Let's keep learning, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.